Greetings, this is Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with another Python tutorial to help you get an A in your course of core exam. And today we're here with validating a length part two. So if you haven't watched the last video and you want to, click the eye up in the corner and it will take you right there. But in today's episode, we're going to be checking if the input is less than a size or is greater than a size that we specify. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> Firstly, we're going to create a variable called user input and assign it with the value of Jeffy. This is to represent user input. In your code, I would imagine you are going to get your, your user input value from the user using some kind of function that gets input. We aren't teaching use how to get user input, we're teaching how to validate user input in this tutorial. So a little disclaimer. Then we're going to do a print statement and we're going to call our isValidLength function in here. We're going to pass in user input and a value of 6. Now let's go and define that function and then we'll explain it all. So we're going to do def is valid length input size colon. So we're going to do, we're going to type the def keyword, which is short for define. We're then going to do is valid length. This is going to be the name of our function. We are then going to pass in two values. The first one being one, and we're going to call it input. This is going to be whatever we're going to do the length check on. The user input, a string, whatever you want. The next parameter is going to be size. This is going to be our desired length that we're going to compare against. In this case, we're going to check if it's less than the size or greater than the size. We can do either one because you might think I want to allow someone to type any, any size up to the size of 50, let's say, for a name. The next line we're going to do return len input. So this len function just gets the size of whatever you pass in. In the case of Jeffy, it would return a 6. And then we're going to do a less than symbol, then we're going to do a size. So we're checking if the size of the input is, great, is, is less than the size we're specifying. So let's try this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass in, we're going to use Jeffy as our value, and we're going to use 6 as our desired length. So in the print function, we do is valid length, user input, which is our input we want to validate, and then we do a 6, which is going to be the size for checking. So we're going to hit start. Make sure you save your work before you hit start. And it says false. So why does it say false? Well, Jeffy is six characters long, so len input would be six. Size is also six. So we're checking if six is greater than six. Six is not greater than six, therefore this is going to be false, and so it prints a false. Let's say we do Jeffy without an exclamation mark. And hit play. It returns a true. Because 5 is the size of Jeffy, so we, this is going to be a 5. And we are asking if 5 is less than 6, which is correct. That's pretty cool. Let's try it with two exclamation marks, so the length is on 7. It's false, because 7 is not less than 6. But... How about we go the opposite way around? So we're going to check if the input length is greater than the size. We're going to stick with Jeffy with two exclamation marks. So we're going to check if 7 is greater than 6. And it says true. But if we were to go and do Jeff, which is four characters, as you can see, it returns a false because four is not greater than six. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. If you want more Python tutorials, then be sure to click the eye up in the corner. And thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.